Hippodrome is at the center of a revival in one of Richmond, Virginia's most historic neighborhoods. The 2011 reopening of the hip, as it was known, has marked both a cultural and commercial rebirth. Tens of thousands of additional tax dollars are pouring into the city's coffers. Restaurants, cafes, and other new businesses have sprung up nearby. New jobs were created. I think the coolest thing to me, honestly, about the Hippodrome opening back up, it gave me an opportunity to work. In the heart of Jackson Ward, once known as the Harlem of the South, the Hippodrome hosted such legends as Ella Fitzgerald, Duke Ellington, and Richmond's own, Bill Bojangles Robinson. This was something, this was something that was known throughout the country that, wow, it, you know, you can come here and a, a thriving, freer community. But with the division of the neighborhood by major highways and the arrival of public housing, the area fell into cultural decline and Jackson Ward itself all but disappeared. I think the community lost something, not having something local they could come to, not something that harkened back to those days of great entertainers, live performances. This nostalgia is just, it's just lost. It's just lost. That continuity is lost. By the 1980s and 90s, crime and drugs plagued the area, and the Hippodrome lay in rusty decay, a neighborhood heirloom too complicated to rescue and too beloved to tear down. But hopeful community leaders began to make plans to revive the once great theater and save Jackson Ward. So that's when it kind of hit me that what we needed to do is to leverage the asset that Jackson Ward has with its history, its buildings, its uh, cultural food, and its entertainment. With a $300,000 loan from the nonprofit Local Initiative Support Corporation, Ron was able to reinvest in the old theater and get the project off the ground. He raised almost all he needed with $12 million in tax credits, and Lisk loaned the last $300,000 to complete the project. Federal and state historic tax credits have contributed to revitalizing Richmond neighborhoods, providing much-needed development capital. Without them, many of these neighborhoods would not be as vibrant as they are today. The Local Initiative Support Corporation shepherds about a billion dollars a year into low-income neighborhoods in dozens of cities and rural areas across America, helping them help themselves. In that way, LISC is the glue that helps bind communities together again. The Hippodrome will host hundreds of events this year and has already hosted Steven Spielberg's Rap Party for Lincoln and RVA Fashion Week. Innovative shows like live art help make the hip a popular spot in Jackson Ward. All of this brings money to local government. The Hippodrome's restaurant contributes $10,000 a month in meal taxes alone. Twelve years ago this area was dying, but now Jackson Ward is an up-and-coming neighborhood. What the Hippodrome has done for the community, I mean it gives an opportunity to come to a beautiful venue and just reviving hope in Jackson Ward to restore to what it used to be.